Richard, you are the father of uh, Catrice Lee, who is uh, missed since nearly 30 years, 37 years. Yeah. So today you came to the scene here in Paderborn, where the military police is uh, digging for evidence. evidence at the Alma River. So you told me you hope to f they won't find anything. Why is that? I think like any parent who, has, uh, who is in my situation and uh, who knows what it's like to have a missing child, uh, our belief is that she was kidnapped. And at that point, in, uh, or this moment in time, what this does for the next five weeks is put our theory in doubt because um, we want them to find nothing. But if they do find something, then we've got to um, readdress our belief. Yeah. So why do you think your daughter was abducted? Um, quite simply, I think when, when Catrice first went missing, uh, somebody made a decision and said that she'd fallen in the river and drowned. And that's already been proven with water experts. That was not the case. Um, so what we're now looking at is the fact that um, she could have been taken, sexually ex uh, exploited and murdered and buried uh, quite nearby. Mm -hmm. uh, our belief is that that's not the case. And I hope that they find nothing. And then therefore, my theory and our belief that she was abducted and she's now living another life as a, and a lie uh, will be proven. Yeah. And if somebody, somebody might come forward and say, uh, I know where she lives today, what will be your reaction? I, I honestly don't know what my reaction would be, but obviously I would be uh, overjoyed if that was the case. Um, unfortunately, unless we get the correct information out there, that Catrice had an eye condition, uh, like her older sister, who had to have two eye operations, Catrice would have had to have an eye operation. And I'm hoping that if this information gets out into the public domain, then people will be aware and possibly Catrice will see that information, uh, act on it, and hopefully she will then make contact with us. Yeah. You missed her when she was uh, two. It was her second birthday when she went missing. Today she would be an adult person so you won't uh, tear their tear her out of her life today i wouldn't uh, take her away from the life that she knows i think that would be wrong now um, what our family wants to know is so that we can have some form of closure is where she is was she loved is she well and realistically i could be a grandfather and i don't know it talking to you now yeah. i understand that you are not completely satisfied with the procedure of the police investigation in the starting years. Uh, what is it? I've never been satisfied with the Royal Military Police. I don't think that they were equipped to deal with a case of this magnitude. And what they are working off at this point in time is information that has been available on file for 37 years. So in realistic terms, what this says to me is that the initial investigation was not handled correctly. How long will you stay in Germany? Will you uh, watch the whole search which will, which will uh, last five weeks? No, unfortunately I fly back tomorrow. Um, but the Royal Military Police uh, now seem to be on side with our beliefs. And uh, they remain in constant contact with me whilst this investigation takes place. What has the missing of this child done to your family? It's absolutely destroyed the family because when we left in 1990 I had to leave I was leaving the army and when we left Germany in 1990 we left as an incomplete family when I spoke to you almost a decade ago at Schloss Neuhaus with my eldest daughter Natasha we left again with no answers and still not a complete family and today I'm going to leave not as a complete family but with doubts in our faith for the next five weeks thank you very much